Hi, this is Ira Winkler of the Irari Report with today's Security ADD edition, which is the RSA Conference CSI Cyber Controversy. Ari's not here today. Ari has other things to do, and there's terrible lighting here, so even if she was here, she wouldn't be on camera anyway, so that's what that is. Now, with regard to RSA Conference, the controversy is that they are going to have a keynote panel, which basically invites the uh, two actors and the executive producer of CSI Cyber to talk about CSI Cyber and whatever they're going to talk about. That's generated a lot of criticism. And good or bad, it's getting a little bit of attention, which I think is what RSA prefers anyway. Here's the issue. Let's break this down. There's CSI Cyber concerns, there's RSA conference concerns, and there's the security profession concerns. Let's talk about CSI Cyber. That's the easy one. What is the goal of CSI Cyber? CSI Cyber is not, doesn't have a responsibility to the security profession. CSI Cyber is out there to produce a show that earns money and gets ratings. It's been renewed once. Ratings haven't been that great this season. Maybe it won't be reviewed for a second time, so there will only be two seasons, which many people will be happy with. Either way, that's not here or there. They have a successful TV series. For those people who are upset about this, which is part of the reason people are upset about this, speaking at RSA conference and other security conferences gives the show legitimacy that, frankly, a lot of people don't think it deserves. And frankly, I'm kind of one of them. It's not the best representation of the security and law enforcement community, but hey, that's not their job. Their job is to produce a show that people are watching. Hats off to them. RSA conference is there, frankly, to get people in the audience. They are having a conference, they make a lot of money at the conference, and they bring good content to the security profession, and the security profession appreciates that, and they reward them by having 30,000 plus people show up for the conference. So again, they do a good job. With regard to CSI Cyber, it's not a technical session, it's one of the non-technical keynotes. And they have a series of them that have been going on that people have loved. They've included Malcolm Gladwell. They've included the Mythbusters people. They've included Condoleezza Rice, Colin Powell, Stephen Colbert, lots of people. And this is supposed to fit in with that genre, for lack of a better term. Now, I'm fr I frankly believe that they're kind of surprised that so many people are pissed off. And maybe they were a little bit out of touch with how the security community perceives CSI Cyber, but other conferences have invited them to speak as well, so maybe they thought they could invite them too, and a lot of people are pissed off about that. Now, the thing is, let's the security community. The security community fundamentally does not believe that CSI Cyber is the best representation of the security community. Frankly, it's a horrible representation of the real security community. Um, with the IRARI report, we previously interviewed Donald Good, the actual head of what would be CSI Cyber, the FBI Cyber Division. And the real CSI Cyber is not a bunch of people that get deployed from Washington, D.C. They have hundreds, if not thousands, of agents deployed around the world that are there in real time working real cases, working behind the desk doing hard work, not geeks with guns running around babbling in acronyms that the actors themselves don't understand. And if you understand what the acronyms mean, the way they use them is completely incomprehensible anyway. So that's a separate issue. However, the reality of the situation is, what is RSA doing with these people? And let's give the response from RSA about that, because I emailed Sandra Tom, and forgive me for looking away from the camera for a second, but basically they state why CSI Cyber, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary of melding the cyber and pop culture, and the melding has never been more prevalent. There's magazines, televisions, and books that focus on online activity, et cetera, et cetera. RSA Conference saw the opportunity to bring to the two audiences together, Hollywood and the security industry. While the show is not technically accurate, it does represent an opportunity to expand knowledge of our profession to a new league of people, and more importantly, a new generation of potential cybersecurity professionals. Okay, let's talk about the new generation. In the first place, let's play devil's advocate for RSA conference. Star Trek, nothing to do with being an astronaut. Made me want to be an astronaut for a while. But guess what? 
not realistic at all, but it made a, generations of people want to go into science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. It was great. They named a space shuttle after it because of the impact a TV show had. Likewise, let's get a little bit more specific. CSI as a TV series, the original series. There was the CSI effect, which had a negative implication on the cyber on the like crime scene investigator industry there was a CSI effect where they everybody thought why isn't there this mountain of evidence that by following figuring out what type of maggots there are at the crime scene they could tell the nationality of the perpetrator or something stupid like that and that created a lot of problems for real CSI professionals however at the same time it did go ahead and generate interest in the forensic science profession, where a lot of colleges started advertising forensic science curriculums and so on. So maybe, maybe they would encourage, CSI Cyber will encourage people to come to cybersecurity as a profession. They're going to be very disappointed, just like you're not going to go in on a starship if you become an astronaut and end up, um, you know, sleeping with lots of beautiful green women like Captain Kirk. You're not going to be a geek with a gun just because you and babble incomprehensibly in acronyms that even people in the security profession don't know what you're talking about. So, again, not a good representation, but could there be an effect? I doubt it. Ratings aren't exceptional. It seems like their ratings are for with older people who prefer the CSI exchange at this point. But, you know, maybe there's some entertainment value in hearing it. Look, RSA is a conference. They have a lot of good technical sessions. Ari and I are going to be speaking on advanced persistent security on Thursday morning in the industry expert track. So find us there and you'll see a better session than their keynote session that afternoon. But it is what it is. You don't like it. Don't show up for it. You know, again, the best way you can respond is by not attending. I would probably not attend, except, of course, I write and talk about the issue, so I'm going to have to see firsthand what they have to say. And frankly, maybe I'll owe them an apology, and if I owe them an apology, you'll get it from me. But the reality is they're going to have to somehow convince me that I'm wrong about what they're doing, and there's some magic, like all of a sudden they've solved the world's computer crime problems because they have made everybody afraid to use a cell phone and check their email and pick up an Uber because every technology is a death trap as you know portrayed by this series. So is it going to stop people to think that they're going to work in some magic, you know, are they going to convince people that they're going to work in some magical, like, command center with monitors all over the place and things like that and babble on incomprehensibly and be given guns and threaten your, you know, your sister's abusive boyfriends and everything like that? That's what they think people are going to be really pissed at CSI Cyber once they realize what the real profession's like. So, again, I think I've babbled on enough about this. But, you know, for the IRARI report, Security ADD edition, this is IRA, and as Ari would say, well, this is, Ari would say, this is Ari, you know, and this is brought, thank you for watching the IRARI report, Security ADD, brought to you by the letters A, D, and D. Thanks so much, and maybe we'll see you at the RSA conference as well. Talk, see you soon. Bye.